My subordinates tell me that you dealt with the privateer and the Kowati woman. Lieutenant Horn and the Ambassador were a great help. Noted. The campaign on Raban is coming to a close. I will direct my forces towards a full-scale assault on Corellia. Rendezvous with my flagship, the Tyrant, in Raban's outsystem. I am Captain Evelyn, commanding officer of the Tyrant. You are Darth Tormund's bounty hunter? What's with the blaster fire in the background? We've been boarded. The situation is bad. Republic Special Forces slipped on board during our troop withdrawal. They've completely overrun the command decks. It won't be long before we lose the bridge. If you act quickly, we might be able to turn things around. Darth Tormund can't handle this himself? He went to deal with the attackers personally, but his soldiers are sealed off from the bulk of the fighting. The board has initiated a complete lockdown, trapping our defenders and the subdecks. I need you to undo their tampering. With their overrides disabled, we can unseal the locked decks from the bridge, so Darth Tormund and his soldiers can retake control. I won't let you down. If I didn't believe that, I wouldn't have asked. I'm transmitting the location of the ship's network junctions. Restore the systems and we can handle the rest. I've opened the docking bays and disabled our weapons. You can make a safe landing if you hurry. The window of opportunity is... Now or never. If we're going to land, we better do it before the boarders get the turbo lasers back online. We're in for a rough landing. Business as usual, then? <sighs> Figures I'd have a big lunch. You must be the bounty hunter Captain Evelyn contacted. Thanks for the rescue. Once they killed the captain, we thought the fight was as good as done. I've had way tougher jobs. We aren't out of the fire yet. We need a few minutes to override the lockdown, but we're finished if we have to hold off another attack. Will you assist in defending the bridge? I didn't blast through here because I was bored. Oh, uh, no, of course not. Um, thank you. Get those lower decks unsealed, ASAP. My lord, it's a relief to see you unscathed. Where is Captain Evelyn? I... he... The, the captain's dead, sir. My lord. And yet you avoided his fate. Yes, I, I mean, no. We were sur... Well, I'm not sleeping tonight. I have you to thank for a ship. Yeah, you're welcome. Have this ship operational by the time we are finished. I am mobilizing my entire division to Corellia. Their rebellion will be crushed. Corellia will fall, but military victory will not be enough. I do not want the Republic merely defeated. They must submit. And a corpse can't grovel. I get it. Who do you want? There is a massive resistance supporting the Republic's defense of Corellia. You will secure the rebel leaders. I will make them kneel. When the rebellion bows before Corellia's rightful leaders, our trap will be set. What's the rebellion got to do with June Saros and the Supreme Chancellor? If Corellia is conquered, the Republic will send troops. If Corellia secedes, the Republic must rely on diplomacy. 
A compact will be signed publicly. Corellia's governor will demand that the Supreme Chancellor ratify the treaty and withdraw Republic forces. The Supreme Chancellor will have to acknowledge that the Corellians have chosen Imperial rule. But not before Jun Seros convinces him that his Jedi can turn the tide. I've only seen Seros operate through proxies. He was undefeated on every front he led during the last war. He will not sit idle while Corellia falls. I have sent my forces ahead, under command of General Krau. Meet with him and proceed according to plan. When the Tyrant is hyperspace capable, I will join you. Feel like watching my back through another scary holocall? I survived the last one, but this might just get me. Remember that data pad we got from Carteri about a million years ago? I cracked it. I got a holo frequency from Isaac, Mr. Project 32 himself. I can't do this without you. Let's see this guy. Want to take bets on whether he's 10 meters tall and breathes fire? <laughs> right, quit stalling, Nico. What's this? Okay, before we get started, let's set something straight. My name is Mako. M-A-K-O. Got it? Call me Coral, and so help me, I will find a way to punch you through the holonet. Mako? And that's a name I never thought I'd hear again. It's like a family reunion with your long-lost SIS goon. Yeah, I've got all kinds of warm fuzzies right now. Unfortunately for both of us, I don't have much time for conversation at the moment. I think it might be in your best interest to talk sooner, rather than later. Normally, I'd agree with you on that. My team has pinpointed Coral's location. Finding her is my priority. Nico, a word of warning. This isn't the life you want. Whatever happens, stay away from Coral. Why? What do you want with her? What did she do? She's killed most of the people involved in Project 32. I can only assume she'll try to kill you too. She's gotten almost everyone else. She's killed a lot of SIS. Seems to me you need to hire some outside assistance. This operation fails, Hunter. I might just give you a call. Mako, I'll contact you after my team's taking Coral into custody. We have a lot to talk about. Isaac, out. I'm intercepting all his outgoing transmissions. Looks like, yes, I have the coordinates he's sending out. Gotta be where she's hiding. That's exactly what I was thinking. I've downloaded the coordinates to the NAV computer. Let's go pay my sister a friendly visit. Hey, sis. Long time no see, huh? Mako? What are you doing here? How did you find me? Met some of our sisters. It was real sweet. Heartwarming, you might say. How oh, about that? I should have warned you. Probably slipped your mind that you're a quadruplet, or whatever. Easy mistake. It's a lot to take in. I didn't want to overwhelm you. Project 32 is trying to frame me, Mako. The others were in on it. Help me slice his computer. If I can erase my records, I can just disappear. Nobody else will get hurt. Please. I've got two words for you, Coral. Bantha Dung. You used me. You wanted Isaac dead. You wanted the other girls dead. Quit pretending to be the victim. Don't see this going anywhere. You're probably right. Well, Coral, you have anything else you want to say before I watch Isaac Carter? You're sorry behind out of here. So I set you up. So what? You don't matter. Neither did the others. None of you were even real people. I'm real. You think I wanted to be part of a set? Would you want that? I'm not like the rest of you. I'm unique. You're not even a person.
doesn't matter. Nothing you do matters. Even if I die here, you won't be real. You're just a cheap copy, Mako. She hammers a lot for someone who's just been totally beaten, doesn't she? What do you want to do with her? S.I.S. can have her. She can rot for all I care. Mako? Is that you? How did... Nah, that's a stupid question. We'll take call from here. I guess we should thank you. Are you alright? I don't know what you guys are gonna do to her, but I have a hunch she deserves it. The stuff she said about being a copy... What do you think that was supposed to mean? You letting her get to you? I don't know. I feel pretty surreal right now. We're moving out. Mako, we will have to talk later. Let's get out of here, okay? I want to be as far away from this place as possible. <laughs>